the federal government does not collect any data on evictions. State governments, county governments, they don't collect these data. So a lot of our quantitative knowledge about how frequent evictions are in the United States comes from the eviction lab. And we collected filings from county courts from all across the country. Um, some cases we can scrape them directly from websites. In other cases, courts email us you know, giant PDFs that we scrape. We aggregate all of that and we get this estimate that you mentioned, 2.7 million eviction filings each year. But you know, what, what is on these filings? They are extremely um, thin on information. Of course, like, we, we know that, that people have, <laughs> they have spouses, uh, they have roommates, there's all sorts of people living in, in these units. So what we figured out is that we could upload about 30 million records to a secure server uh, maintained by the United States Census Bureau. And with our partners in the census, they were able to probabilistically link the names and addresses uh, that are on the filing and associate that with a person who responded to some sort of survey that was done by the Census Bureau, like the decennial census or the American Community Survey. You know, the American Community Survey is done each year and it covers about 1% of the population. So we were able to use those linkages to figure out not just how many households receive an eviction filing, but how many individual people receive that eviction filing. And then going beyond that, we can use the ACS to find out the characteristics of each of these people in the household. 